small and medium sized companies when we can see several people in different places who are making an effort when carrying heavy things and for different reasons were due to a bad position of lack of technique when carrying it they can hurt their back and over time this it could have serious consequences well we have the best solution with excellent design, excellent balance for money and can adapt to multiple situations. When you need it, you can lift things of different sizes and even clip stars in an easy way. You don't need to make an effort when lifting heavy things, only our eye hands is enough. Now let's look more specific at this product. The principal color is a preventing shadow, but we offer different colors. By set in the ISO 7010, standard for the companies, and to civil norm 0030 2011, you can see the next colors. The color red for the fire stations, for the sports, and food holding. The color yellow for the industrial hauling, gas or gasoline transport and constructions. For the color dark green for the agriculture, government services and naturally. The color blue for the technological and chemical, the handland and the children's products. It's in specific for the hospital in this moment. The color black for the all industrials and all civil use is perfect for the houses. This new trolley design is very easy to use. Why? Because he has a three different mob to use. It's like two three in one. We continue the mode of use that the trolley offers. The bed form is very easy to use because a single person can move products from the one point to other point in the enterprises. With fears, the product is funny. Why? Because you can move the trolley like to a hospital bell on six wheels, it's very easy to move. The traditional trolley is used for a long distances on bad surfaces, for example, grass or rocks. It's too easy to move in these surfaces because it has a six wheel for support. You can take the products with a tape or rocks to the trolley because it has a special handles for that this mob is very special you can go up the stairs who it has a six wheels in three and three parts the wheels is rotate and the trolley product is clean it's like to go up the ramp you can see in this form you can go up the steps with a nine inches we use the norm one for the steps for the greatest part for the trolley. Safe mode. This is a perfect to transport to save the trolley because it doesn't occupy a station and can be put a small, for example, in a small warehouses on a small cars when you move or transport the trolley is perfect this is the form to transform the trolley 
in this case is transform the trolley mode and the save mode. It's very easy. And when you are the position to use, only with your feet, you can put the lock. And the last is transform in the bed form. Only move in this form and move the small wheels and the gripper. It's very easy to transform. It's the best form to use in combat. General calculations and control system. Static analysis and shear stress in the bulb of the axis in the wheels. Okay, the trolley has two models of operate. In trolley mode, that is in 45 degrees, and the car mode, that this is have two axes and four wheels. We need to calculate the shear force in the ball, the principal ball. For we can select this ball, the material for this, this will be, and the real force that is applied in this ball in order of depending of the degree of the inclination. In this, in this case, our trolley is decided to use in the range of 40 and 70 degrees, but the normal degrees of operate is 45, so the real force in this part not is the same, but is in the car mode. The total weight that we will uh, select are 200 kilograms. This uh, weight converts to force in newtons are 1.962 kilonewtons. So that we need to divide it in two because the trolley in this mode have two separate wheels in three groups. So this will affect in middle of the real total force. So we can see this picture, if the force are in the middle of the trolley, this can divide it in two, for the, we, we can calculate uh, that system in the both sides. So this force we need to decompose in the vectors and the components Fy and Fx, for we can know the real force that are applying in, in base to the angle of operation, that this angle is of 45 degrees. So, the real force are 981 newtons, but this compose in the both sides, we have that the Fy force is minus 693.67 newtons, and the Fyx is the same but in positive way. So, knowing this force, we can uh, start to calculate the real uh, static analysis and shear stress of the bolt. The free body diagram shows us how the forces are applying directly in the bolt. We can see the principal force are applying in white side of the bolt, and we have two other forces that we don't know which is the volume, that are C and B. With the help of this diagram, we can calculate that volumes with a static analysis and know what is that volume that are in C and B. These, those forces are applying in different lengths, different sides, that are in 0.01 meters and the other is in 0.09 meters. For calculate those force, we need to do three sumatorial forces. The first sumatorial forces are in X, so we have a force that are applying in X, this is equal to zero. The second sumatorial is in Y. In this part, we have two, the two forces that we don't know the value and the, for the principal force that we know the value. So for now, one of these forces to know for now, we need to do a sumatorial moment in C. So applying those calculus, we obtain that every y is equal to 780.317 newtons. So for knowing the other force that we don't know, we need to rest the the last value so then this new volume. So in this in this case we obtain minus 86.70 newtons these are the other four that we don't know so in this part we we uh, finally know the all the forces are applying in the world so we can see in the graph the, the applying forces are composed in different form on the in the graph the principal for applying in the first part in a and b and the force are in the 
mean level of B and C. Now, knowing the oil force applying in the trolling mode, we need to know the forces that are applying in the car mode. Those forces are applying in zero degrees, so these forces are directly uh, arrived in the trolls. The free body diagram shows how the forces are applying in the tube. We can see the force is the same in all the tube, but we have two resultants. The first is the principal wheel star RBY, and the second resultant is RIY, that are the auxiliary wheels. So the two resultants uh, have the have different weight depending the position in the tube. So we need to to apply the same uh, calculus that the last uh, the last analysis that we apply in this. Uh, in this trolley. So applying those calculus, we have that air airway are equal to 788.7 newtons and air by are equal to 336 newtons. So the, the majority of the force are applying in the auxiliary wheels and the, the last uh, weight are in the principal wheel, the principal wheels. So how we can see in the graph. The, the majority of the force are in the wheels, in the auxiliary wheels, that are the principal wheels. Finally, we need to select the biggest force that are in both the systems. So this force is 788.72 newtons. In based on this force, we need to select our commercial bolt in one table. The bolt selected is of S265 steel in and the ASTM system is 836 steel. So we can see in the table we have some bolts, but the bolt the bolt that we, we 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 use is for 20 millimeters of diameter and 90 millimeters of length. So the strain resistance is 108.22. So the safety factor is not necessary to calculate here because this system is was calculated in base a beam analysis so the beam uh, has a more uh, shear force than a ball for this reason our system is oversized and we don't know we don't need to calculate the safety factor because our system is oversized for the tube compression we use this form for which tube to use in this form, all the data is for the 3D model in SOLIDWORKS. We use the Mexical standardization for this part of the calcul and it is perfect to search who pression, who compression to use in this tube. And with this form, the last obtained this value is 107 kilograms to use in this form to the tube but we need to other tubes and other solders in, in the tube it is not only one tube and see we have select this form to the tube it's in tube for steel in the ED40 is the market is perfect and has in the market electronic prevention system we have two systems uh, installed in the trolley the first is when the trolley is using the car mode. When it's using this mode, we have in the front one sensor to detect the distance with, uh, between the object. If the object is very close of the trajectory of the car, it will be shown uh, with a frequency highly. If the object is uh, closer, the this tone will be variably depending on the distance. The other system that we have is depending the inclination of the trolley that is in trolley mode. We have some lines that are ble always blinking, so these are only the me medium prevention, uh, uh, visual prevention of the working that is uh, used this uh, this trolley in one place that is very transitory of the some workers. For this uh, important, we have a, a signal uh, of, of the distance. This system works with batteries. We need to install six batteries. But the system works. These batteries uh, have an automatic uh, charger. 
All the systems have a consumption of 44.15 amperes per day. So this is the consumption of the off system in 12 hours continuous of work. Airhands has the three main aspects for the recreation of the product which will be the 3D models and assemblies and one manual with a specific instruction for the assembly of the parts and also the construction plans. On the user manual, you can find in detail, step by step, each one of the precepts that you have to follow to assemble all of the parts of your hands. Also, it shows how to make the preventive mounting for different parts of the wheels which ones are training and really easy to find, as well as the screens that make it up. Further, it is also a product made of steel 1-inch ID40, which makes it very resistant and suitable to extend up to 200 kilograms, due to its shape that allows the load the way it forcefully and store it in small places. Each one of the members of this project are elaborated with a CNC. The tools used were the following. Then, we will show the process of the elaboration made on a steel plate of 80 mm. For bending each one of the metal tubes, it is used the following process which allows to provide a uniform that characterizes every hand. And with this fabulous professional painting process, it prevents the material from being damaged. In the current process, we use the CNC plasma process, which allows to make exact cuts with angles shown below. Moreover, it has been made with stainless electrodes that make it more resistant and able to extend the weight, removing the risk of wheel cracking. To make this project possible, we need to buy the material in online stores that were necessary to make our body. And as we can see, the price is quite low compared to other types of trolleys, with less function and low quality. In addition to this, it offers multiple advantages for both employer and worker, such as reducing job incidents, such as future injuries, and also increases the productivity. In a nutshell, our project is an excellent option for companies that need to increase their productivity. Thank you for your attention. Hi everyone, my name is Carla Estrada, I'm studying mechatronics in the Bilingual Modality Group 5A and I'm the project coordinator. Hi, my name is Yvette Currola, I'm a student from mechatronics career and I was in charge of the manufacturing process of this project. My name is Hector Dayan Garcia Romero and I am a student of mechatronics bilingual in the 5A group. I am in change of the control and prevention lab. Hi, my name is Juan Eduardo Lopez Carrillo. I study mechatronics. In this project, I was a designer and animator.